Hey Crushers, Matteo from Jimmy Crush here and welcome into a new episode. So if you are in the process of running a new keyword research campaign, today you are in the right place because in today's video I'm going to show you my personal uh, local SEO growing keyword strategy and by this strategy, by following this video training today, you will learn how to analyze and finding training keywords how to determine geographic regions with the highest search volume for those keywords, how to analyze mobile versus desktop search data, and how to utilize the information obtained through a GMB Crush audit and chat GPT. So if you are new to the GMB Crush world and you want to know more about what GMB Crush is, you can basically uh, visit our website at gmbcrush.com and by scrolling down a bit you will uh, basically get a chance to see all the available features within GMB Crush. So with GMB Crush, uh, GMB Crush is a local SEO software, is a local SEO tool and with GMB Crush you can audit any Google business profile of your choice, run GeoGrid, uh, optimize pitch clients and track your Google business listing performances from just one platform. So back to the point, I'm super pumped because the past week we also released um, the latest uh, GMB Crush video training course which is the ChatGPT local, uh, local SEO entity booster video course. This is a 20 video training course and if you want to access to this specific training and all the other video training, you can just go to gmbcrush.com slash pricing and purchase any annual subscription of your choice. And you will be granted access to all the video trainings, all the Google My Business and local SEO uh, SEOP documents. And you will also get access to my personal uh, research in terms of the top trending ranking factors for Google My Business on 2023. So we will raise all the prices for GMB Crush uh, within the second week of February. And so if you are in the, um, in the process of making a decision, if you want to, if you should join or you should not join GMB Crush, this is the best moment and you will also lock uh, the current pricing at the next renewal. So back to the video. So as I say before, today you are going to learn how to find the top trending keywords within your area, how to determine geographic regions with the highest search volume, how to analyze and filter out mobile versus desktop search data and how you can leverage all the information from the previous three steps to run an audit with GMB Crush and re-elaborate, elaborate all the data um, through uh, the power of ChatGPT. So basically, I will show you now how you can find trending keywords, how you can arrange the information in a systematic manner using my own method, and as a step number three, I will show you how you can leverage the power of GMB Crush to um, elaborate all the data and extract uh, additional information utilizing chat GPT. So step one, what you need to do, you can just go to the Chrome store and download the, the GMB Crush Chrome extension. So I'm still receiving like messages, hey Matt, the GMB Crush Chrome extension is not working, is not performing any sort of uh, GMB audit as it used to do before. So at the moment we are uh, revising and we are um, planning out uh, a new solution. I cannot disclose more information about this, but we are going to um, relaunch this uh, Chrome extension with uh, a game change changer solution. At the moment, the GMB Crush Chrome extension is still free. You can download it and you can use it, uh, you can use it uh, to switch location. So it helps you to switch your own uh, geolocation, browser base. Of course, we are not interfering with your uh, IP address or whatsoever. 
So once you have downloaded, you can insert here your chosen uh, geolocation. And then once you, you, you have inserted here your chosen geolocation, you need to get, get coordinates. You will see this small message appearing, uh, showing up here in green. And once this is showing up, you can just click to search now and you will be redirect to the Google Map search interface. Of course, you can also run any uh, Google search and, you know, basically you will maintain the current selection, in this case, New Jersey, okay? So step number two, assuming that I have uh, a seeding keyword, so I want to start from uh, a specific keywords that we will call now a seeding keyword. So seeding keywords are, primary keywords that we want to focus on or that we are currently focusing on. And basically um, by inserting um, this seeding keyword, this seed keywords in the Google search bars, we will begin with um, growing keyword uh, strategy process. So you can basically insert here your chosen seed keywords, then scroll down and check which companies are ranking over the in the local tree pack for this specific search term. And you can basically re rise and repeat the process that you are going to see uh, soon by uh, analyzing the website of the um, competitor number one, the, the website of the competitor number two, and the website of the competitor number three. So. Now I will uh, run this process by analyzing, reversing, engineering the website of the competitor number two. So you can copy the link of the competitor number two website, and then you need to log in uh, on Google Ads. So in order to repeat this process, you need to have an active Google Ads account. And once you add access to your Google Ads account, you can click to tool and settings and then to the keyword planner, okay? So once you click uh, to the keyword planner, you will land to this page. Then you can click to discover new keywords, okay? And then start with the website. So you need to copy here the website of your, in this case, we were picking up the number two website so the website which is linked to the um, competitors number two in the local tree pack i copied and pasted here and then you need to be sure that you are inserting here the the correct language english and here you don't have to realize uh, united states but you need to narrow down the geographic, the geo-targeting. In this case, it will be New Jersey again, okay? So let's select this as our targeting, you see? Okay, and then you need to click Save. Once you have done that, you have the option to choose to, to pull out the data using the entire website or to pulling out the data using only this page. So I recommend in this specific case to select use the entire site. And in case you want to pull out um, keywords data from um, a location page or from an inner page, you can select use only this page. Okay, so in this case, um, Google Ads um, will gathering and collecting and display data just for this specific page for a specific page that you will choose okay after you have select use the entire site you can click to the get results button here right and boom it's done so what you can do here we can get more insights and more data for Google and Google search partner or only for Google. And then you can select a specific uh, date, uh, time frame. Let's say that I want to pick up 
all the keywords uh, data from the last month and then you have this nice icon here that says charts okay so once you click to the charts you have the possibility to search volume by trends or to filter data um, having a breakdown by platforms okay so as you can see this is super useful because we can collect and we can gain additional insights about the percentage of searches that are coming from mobile devices from tablet and from desktop and as a third point you can we can get a breakdown by locations and i love this i love this because um you know more often when you when you are working um, towards a specific uh, list of keywords sometimes you have if you are working at uh, with local seo with gmb you want to be sure that you know exactly from which location those keywords are coming from and once you have selected your breakdown by location you can get an additional breakdown by regions and cities by county okay so this is very helpful to me you can also play a little bit here inserting all the other county counties and by by playing inserting multiple counties here you can get additional um insights about you know regardless the breakdown by location so you can enrich this section and this section by um you know inserting like multiple uh, counties here okay don't forget to save okay so now by scrolling down we get access to a great amount of uh, information such as the average monthly searches the three months change so the three months change shows a three month change in search trend by comparing the latest month's data with the data from two months prior okay and the yoy change which compares the monthly search volume of the latest month with the same month the previous year then we can also get like insights about the google ads uh, competition and what the cost will be if we want to bid for any of those keywords to be on page one and what was the um, the expected uh, budget range that uh, we should um, we should allocate if we are seeking to get uh, any of those keywords on top of uh, page one regardless uh, google ads the google ad search results okay so what i like to do here uh, i would like i of course you know at at the first i always uh, love to scroll down and see which keywords are uh, skyrocketing in terms of search volume and demand uh, in the past uh, three months you know but what i like to do i like to uh, download and arrange all the data uh, via google sheet so you can click to this icon and then click to google sheet and once all the keywords are ready are being collected by google ads uh, to be transferred into a google sheet you will get access to a google sheet similar to this like this one so what i like to do here i like uh, to assign and share this uh, google sheet uh, with uh, a virtual assistant with my virtual assistant and i'm usually asking him to get rid of of keywords that are making little no sense uh, regardless uh, you know the specific uh, geolocation and um, regardless uh, the, the business niche of the clients and so on but what I, I additionally like to do here at the moment i like to create a copy of this uh, shit okay and then i like uh, to get 
um, to copy and paste into ChatGBT all the keywords, data, and the three months changes, okay? So I want to get all of this information. And once you have copied this information, you can utilize uh, the prompt that I create here for you. So I'm basically asking uh, to ChatGPT to group these keywords by common characteristics and arrange them in order of increasing research growth over the past three months. And then I'm also asking to treat keywords with minus percentage as decreasing in popularity keywords and those without a sign as increasing. I'm also asking to include the percentage change plus or minus in the final list. In the final output, uh, put the unsigned words as ascending keywords by marking them with the plus sign next to the percentage value. So for example, I also love to provide example to ChatGPT because I have noticed that the final output is um, it's, um, more compelling and more, um, more insightful. So for example, a keyword that is listed as 53% uh, must be entered in the final output as plus 53%. And then I'm also asking to ChatGPT to organize the final output starting from all keywords with the plus sign and to sort out the finally starting from keywords with sign plus to descendant, okay? As you can see here, I've copied and pasted the full list of keywords. Of course, you cannot copy and paste the full list because it's going to be too much for ChatGPT. And as you can see here, um, ChatGPT is a grouping keywords by common characteristics and then it's also outlining which keywords are uptrending in terms of um, search volume and demand and which keywords are downtrending. Of course, you can additionally, you know, play with the prompts and also include into the first list more data such as the, the average search volume on the Y or Y change and or the level of competition and so on. But the most important part here is that we define uh, a clear list of which keywords are uptrending so, and which keywords are downtrending. So how you can utilize those keywords? For example, you can pick up any of those keywords, um, any of those uptrending keywords, you can include them into your Google uh, Ads um, local campaign or uh, you can bidding for those keywords to display um, ads uh, in the local trip pack uh, over the local trip pack using uh, Google Ads local uh, maps as the extension or you can additionally see if um, your website currently have a piece of content that is targeting any of those specific keywords or if you can additionally implement uh, any of those trending keywords into your current um, content uh, on page, location pages, FAQ, anything that can be implemented at GMB level in terms of FAQ or anything that can be uh, implemented uh, within um, your Google My Business Post uh, strategy and content strategies, uh, content strategy, excuse me, um, within your local money site for the home page, for the service pages, product pages, location pages, and so on. Okay, then what I like to do here, guys, additionally, once you have done this process, I love to explore what's going on, um, which website is performing best for any of those uh, uptrending keywords. So what I like to do, I go through the miner, I insert here my chosen keyword. So let's say emergency plumber and J, right? Um, so at the second step, you need to choose uh, for which device you want to pull out the, the data from. So let's say mobile. 
because the majority of the searches are coming at 70 percent uh, from mobile right so search location i will say nj so once you have uh, input here the search location also you need to validate the search location by selecting your chosen geolocation in this case is new jersey and then we can also associate a geo grid to the audit let's say that i want to get a, a geo grid up to let's say 10 kilometer okay so when you press the search now button um, gmb crash it's asking uh, if you are sure about all the information that you have inserted in on the first step because you will be charged one crash credit on the second step you will basically have the possibility to choose uh, any gmb of your choice so any gmb property that you have access to or any gmb pro any gmb property that you simply want to audit you don't have access to it but you simply want to um, include it into this audit process okay so as a second step let's say that we want to like uh, select um let's say this listing okay and then on the third step you need to choose the top three competitors okay so basically what we are doing now we are asking gmb crash to compare one gmb of our choice to the top three competitors in the local tree pack for a specific search keyword device and search location so gmb crash now is collecting all the data regardless the, the google business profile listings and the websites uh, connected linked to each of those listings so we are collecting a lot a lot of data not only at uh, gmb level so in terms of um, gmb categories uh, google business post insights um, you know zip code uh, insights but we are also um, utilizing gmb crash to pull uh, data from each website uh, which is linked okay to each uh, google business listing so the speed of the software in this step depends also on the amount of data that um, each listing has and as you can see we are ready so once we are ready you will get a notification here and a notification here and then what you need to do you simply click to the wizard button here on the top right of the screen right so once you click to the to the wizard button boom it's done you will get access to the wizard the, what we call the wizard audit report so basically this is a very comprehensive um, gmb audit report which is comparing any gmb of your choice against the top three for a specific keywords and a geolocation you can you get an overall score and then by scrolling down you will get access to all the other information okay such as like uh, categories suggestions um, additional uh, ranking insights attributes in insights zip code insights and then also um, geogrid uh, data okay so as you can see here you can get like uh, a complete uh, geogrid solution and what i like to do here guys is every time i'm running um, the growing uh, keyword strategy that i show you before in the previous step i like to have an additional um, check using the previous process um, to pull out uh, keyword insights from google ads and etc by identify, identifying which sites are performing uh, best in terms of proximity you see so basically by selecting any competitor here 
I can also visualize which competitor is ranking best for a specific geolocation. So let's say this one, the number four is not ranking really well for the centroid of the search, which in this case is New Jersey, but it's ranking pretty well across multiple um, counties, okay? So what I like to do here, I love to pick up uh, the top performance. Um, it means the um, competitor that it's um, like um, performing really, re really well, not only for the centroid of the search, but also for all the other geolocations um, related to this main search location. So this one looks pretty good. And what I would like to do, I would like to also to pick up um, the website, link it to this specific property and basically copy and paste the, the website into Google Ads to rinse uh, and repeat the same process. So I want to see um, from which um, from which locations uh, the majority of uh, the searches related to uh, that specific website are coming from and I also want to get uh, a breakdown uh, by platforms okay and additionally if you are if you want to get more insights especially if you have any google ads campaign uh, local campaign active you can also combine you can also uh, sorry you can also include into this uh, into the process uh, google and google search pattern so that you will enrich uh, your uh, process and you will force google ads to display more information okay so guys that's all for today thank you for watching this video and i'm looking forward to see you joining gmb crush we have a, a huge roadmap we are going to implement more and more uh, information into the gmb crush uh, with that audit documents and we are also working out a new solution to reach the um, analytical section of gmb crush and more and more it's on the way thank you for watching and i'm looking forward to connect with you thank you and see you on the next video cheers